All right, boys, I've said it about 3,000 times. These new mechanical fuel pumps are junk. I just had one go bad in the mid-90s 20G. Um, and it had been going bad since I owned it, but it would normally work. What happens is, and I, I think you guys can see it here, how it warps, and then the check valves don't work. And you can see it from this side, see how it's deformed. That's why it won't work. Uh, and the other thing I was doing, I was putting gas into the engine. So, uh, luckily, this one I caught soon enough. Now... <laughs> The 74812 project, I don't know that I caught it soon enough. Um, the motor almost locked up on it when I noticed it. So, uh, yeah. I've been dropping fuel pumps here this week. I, it, it, funny, they both went bad in the same spot in the yard. Indian burial grounds, something, I don't know. So, anyhow, what I'm going to do, and I think you guys can see I have a, a metal pulse pump. Uh... This was off of a twin cylinder Robin motor that actually ate a head, which is actually what's in that crate right there. So anyhow, I'm going to put that on here and to pull pulse off that motor, I took uh, and gutted the inside of the fuel pump, pulled the arm out, uh, this is the spring and part of the diaphragm, and what I do is I just cut the outside of the diaphragm off to seal the top and the bottom half, and then I will... Uh, on the way this one is set up, it had a fitting that's screwed in this side, so I'll get a plug and put in there, and I will tee in here for the pulse. And that should get the old 20G actually pumping gas good. It's never pumped right since I've had it. I just always kind of milked it. I shut the gas off all the time. I was pretty sure it was the car leaking through, but uh, you guys know how it goes. So That's tonight's project. Debacle. What else did I do today? Blew a tire on the cover original. Um, I think that's about all I know about. Fixed the tire on another one, so that one blew. That makes sense. You can never have too many good tires. I mean, look at this. This. That. The front tire is about junk, so. Anywho. Keep the gravy train moving. There you go, there's the 20 sitting out there idling. Fuel pump is zip tied to the manifold right now, but uh, it works pretty good. I, <coughs> what it really needs is a longer fuel line coming off the carb to the fuel pump, but uh, it'll work that way for a long time. One day, I'll remember and order a fuel line. One day. So. I guess that's a wrap on this one, guys. I greased up the center spindle on the deck. Because uh, most of them at this point in their life, the remote grease line has gotten ripped off and they have fittings in the spindles. So you jack them up. I don't take my 60 inch decks off of most tractors. So that's it. And you guys can see it's pitch black. I'm not going to go out and mow right now. It's about, uh, uh, about 8 30, 9 o'clock at night. So later, guys. See everybody on the next one. Later. So boys got the 20G fixed and running good. So I'm gonna pull the 812 up to the shop now just so I don't do any more damage to the motor. Hopefully. You guys know how that goes. Um and yeah, uh this one I think I'm gonna rebuild the fuel pump. I have a diaphragm kit and uh everything out in my truck. I normally kept it for plow days, but uh bigger good tractors having issues. You do that. I also, uh, I think this has a bad head gasket, I think as well. I may or may not change the head gasket. I don't notice it all the time, so we'll see. So, anyhow, we got this pushed in the shop, and I'll be today's project. It's it's too nice to be in the house. I was going to edit videos, and it is 70-some uh, degrees right now. And it's August, or August, October 28th, 9th, one of the two. So, anyhow. When I get her in the shop, I'll let you guys know. Got to drain the oil, put fresh oil in it, minimum. And, uh, yeah, 
see what's going on with the fuel pump. I don't know if it's a new style or old style. Uh, it's still a metal fuel pump yet, so I can probably just rebuild it. See a clutch wobble in there. This is keyed clutches, by the way. This is not spline, so there ain't much I can do with that. Look at that. Anyways, let's get her up to the shop. See what we got going on here for sure.